Um, we are very excited to be using computers in our classroom. Kids are really engaged in a way that brings out a level of deep thinking that I'm not really seeing on pencil and paper. When you build your array, what are you going to remember to do? Label with the dimensions. Thank you. What do we insert? An image. We did presentations that takes usually a couple hours in my classroom and we could do it digitally where each student could go on and watch individually. They were all engaged at the same time and filling out forms and completing information so it's uh, made a huge impact on my students. There's so many um, websites you can go to. I, I can type really good and it's much helpful because because when you write a lot, your hand hurts. I like Google Classroom because we can comment and like add to other people's comments. They're so much faster than adults, so very adaptable to it. It's their world. I know it's here to stay, it's just getting better and better. The last few years that I've taught literacy workshop, I was one of those teachers that had the binder, or the, not the binder, but the spiral that was incredibly organized and students kept everything in their spirals. So this year uh, we decided to try to make our classrooms paperless. We are using Google Sites for a website where we attach all of our assignments and resources and all that good stuff and then we're using Google Classroom. Um, to post assignments and for kids to turn their assignments in through. Um, I think it gets kids more organized with their assignments so you know what's going on and it tells you if it's late or not and if the teacher forgets you can just log on and see if it's late or not. I feel that uh, Google Classroom is a lot easier to use than paper because it's much more organized and it's so much easier with the computers because so much more research can be done a lot easier. You can use it at home, and it's easier because you can do it on your computer at home. So with the added addition of technology, that adds that other level of creativity and innovation for them to stretch themselves more than with just a very standard paper pencil classroom. It's easy to get to at home and um, at the school. I like that we don't have to use paper all the time. I felt like my mind was just blown as far as all of the incredible things that we can be doing with students to actively engage them more in their learning. And There are some really amazing things about using technology with kids. One thing we've been working on a lot is Google Hangouts. You get to talk to experts from all over the world. Student engagement hasn't been higher. I can't think of a time when I have more students that are willing to write, to create. So they use technology to go out and create podcasts and create commercials and to post on Instagram and Facebook. And they feel connected to the process and I think we're building skills that are invaluable for the future. But this little um, four room classroom is not your classroom. The world is your classroom if you know how to access it. Uh, this is my 30th year of teaching and uh, we've been using computers on and off like everybody has. You know, you take a classroom to the lab and you make things happen there. It, well, it's definitely different using technology because last year in my school, like, we never had the computers and stuff. So it's really nice because, like, even if you're sick, you can just go onto your email and, like, look at what you've missed. And it... Last year, my principal, Mark Pinder, came to me and said, you know, we're looking to pilot some digital classrooms. Would you like a set of Chromebooks in your classroom? And I said, Sure, I'll give it a try, and uh, here they are. Uh, I like it a lot better. I came from a school where like, we have barely any technology because it's really small, poor funding, and it's really different for me because I can turn my stuff in like late, and I don't have to just bring it into the class. I can do it from home. It's what they know. They know the digital world. And secondly is he wants to reduce the number of photocopies because we spend way too much money on paper in the photocopy machine. I guess it's engaging because we're all moving at the same speed and everything that we do 
every person does the same thing, so it's not like one person's learning more than the other. Google Classroom was an incredible feature, as opposed to, I've been doing using Google Docs for years, but Google Classroom, the whole transferring of ownership is a phenomenal process. And this has been a lot easier for me, other than like just reading the book and writing the paper, write it down on paper. We actually have like examples of things we can do, and we can look it up, and we can put pictures on if we need uh, visual and like hearing and learning like I don't know it's just really it's really good it's, I like it that's an awesome thing and that takes them to places that I think is unintended learning that's strong learning well I started out using uh, the Chromebooks as well and when I did I started out by having my kids use files Pretty quick I don't have to have the piece of paper that I may or may not have left at home all my kids get updated uh, current versions of whatever work I'm having them do. It also is a nice package because all of their materials, everything they're doing is all in the same place. I would think it's going to help with jobs and like, oh, I know how to use Chromebooks, or I know how to do this on the Chromebooks. And I just think it's like a good experience to start using them in classrooms. The Atom has a neutral charge, but the electrons have a negative charge. With this, with this, with the classroom, it's like it's done once and it's done. Google Classroom. Thank you.